Singaporeans love to buy EC. In October 2022, Copern Grand at Tengah Town has received over 2,003 applications for 639 units and sold 73% on the first day of the launch. While in July 2017, 100 Pumps residents made history with the whole development to be sold within 7 hours. They tend to be highly sought after whether new EC project hits the market. As Singaporean, should we be plain kiasu and follow? Hi everyone, I'm Desmond from Crucial Property Decisions. We refer executive condominium as subsidized condo. It is a hybrid of public and private housing launch to help aspiring Singaporeans to live in a private property. The number one reason to buy an EC is it is affordable and best value for Singaporeans. Quoted from Minister Kwa Boon Wan, it is like offering you a Lexus at Corolla price. But only Singaporeans have this privilege. The average price between the EC over mass market private condo for the past decade is about 30%. The EC price typically trends about 1,002 per square foot, while the OCR condo new sales is about $1,800 per square foot. Of course, it presents the opportunity to buy private property in waiting while still enjoying government subsidies. They are still considered more affordable than private condo if you are looking at new launch market. This leads us to the second point. Many say that the profit is guaranteed and homeowners tend to enjoy a huge profit. We see many EC owners have ranked in big profit from reselling their homes. In 2021, the biggest EC transactions came from the project such as City Life, One Canberra, Heron Bay and the top 5 resale transactions in 2021 as you see, the top performing one is City Life at Tampanese, fetching nearly over 1.4 million in capital gain after holding period of 9 years. Majority of EC owners make profit. But what happened when we analyze the profit, 6.5% being the highest, and the average is about 3% like the watercolors at Passeries. While the similar area and the time zone, if the owner look at the condo Coco Pumps also in Passeries, their profit will double with an annualizing rate of 3 to 4%. Naturally, most people will hope for a buy low, sell high scenario, but it's never guaranteed. A lot of them will depend on the state of the market and the economy at the point of resale. Next, buying EC is an privilege that comes with a strict eligibility and condition, and it's not for everyone. Here are the key points. You need to form a family nuclear as following. The list include joint single two, and you cannot change the mode of ownership during holding period. There's an income ceiling 16,000 per household, and you are subjected to 30% mortgage servicing ratio. The MSR refers to portion of buyer's gross monthly income that goes into servicing or property loan. Together, the income ceiling and the MSR will affect the affordability of EC. If you are 40 years old, with income of 16,000 to buy an EC, you can loan about 909k based on MSR. On the other hand, if you buy a condo, you get a loan up to 1.667 million based on 55% TDSR. That is a huge difference. Next, there will be a need to fulfill a 5-year minimum occupation period. During the period, EC owner will not be able to lease the whole unit or sell. After MOP period, the unit can be resold to Singaporean and PR and after 10 years, it can be sold to foreigners. As such, you are expecting a longer waiting time with potential opportunity costs incurred while waiting to exit the property. Both North Gala and Copen Grand only obtained TOP in 2027. Plus 5 years of MOP, it will mean homeowners can sell their property only 10 years later in 2032. If you are 40 years old now and you can only sell your property at the age of 50, our housing needs changes drastically over time. Like kids overgrown from school, change of job, having tied down to a property for 10 years is not flexible and feasible for many. Sadly, you have to dispose your HGB to own an EC. So if you would like to keep a HGB to rent out and generate income, buying an EC is not for you. Lastly, the location of our up-and-coming EC may not be where you are looking at. If you would like to understand more about the EC in relative to BTO or private condominium, do drop me a message. Being 19 years in the real estate, there is no one-size-fits-all approach. 
Only tailor-made solution that best suit your need is the safest option that is critical for your property decisions. Talk to us. See ya.